Hello, this time I am walking in the Inuyama city. This is located near the Inuyama castle and the Sanko Inari shrine. If you haven't watched uh, those videos, I recommend them as these three videos are in the same location. This is the kanji for eyes. Kanji is one of the Japanese alphabets. This symbol by itself means eyes and is pronounced as kori. This place is located in the Aichi prefecture, north of the Nagoya city. I think this is a shotengai or a commercial district in Inuyama. In Japan, there are a lot of shotengais where you can buy clothes, uh, food, drinks, or simply go for a walk. The yakitori is very famous in Japan and is also sold in shotengais around Japan. Some people come to this place wearing yukatas. Probably they also go to the shrine or the castle. I think this place is not very famous among foreigners, but it's worth checking if you are in the area. Here are some statues protecting themselves from COVID. This is the Inuyama station. This word in English means the Dog Mountain. The company that handles this train line is Meitetsu. It's very famous in the Aichi prefecture, probably in the Kansai region too. These are furin, literally a uh, wind bell in English. These are Japanese wind chimes. These are small bells usually found hanging from the balconies and doors of Japanese houses during summer. Not only does this create a visual uh, representation of the blowing wind, the gentle ringing sound has become associated with a cool, refreshing feeling. In the days before air conditioning, Japanese people used to listen to the sound of furin, to promote a feeling of coolness to help get through Japan's uh, humid summers. This is the station from inside. Uh, sometimes Japanese trains are decorated with movie characters, especially anime. This is something really cool in Japan. I hope you liked uh, this video. Thanks for watching it. See you in the next one.